Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definition and an example of the conditional probability mass function. So, the conditional probability mass function is defined as p x comma y of x given y is equal to probability that x equal to small x given at y equal to small y. So, which is defined by the ratio that is x equal to x comma y equal to y that is the joint probability mass function divided by probability the joint the marginal probability mass function that is y equal to y probability of y probability of y equal to y so this can be rewritten as probability of x, x given y is x given y x given y is equal to probability of x comma y of x comma y that is the joint probability mass function divided by the marginal probability mass function. So, this is the definition of conditional probability mass function. So, as a consequence of this definition, we can clearly see that the joint probability mass function that is p x comma y of x comma y is equal to the product of the conditional probability mass function multiplied with the uh, multiplied with the marginal probability mass function. It is also equal to the product y given x of y given x multiplied by marginal probability mass function of x. So, and this is also related to the Bayes rule. Next, we will look at an example illustrating the conditional probability mass function. So, the given the following probability mass function, that is joint probability mass function, joint PMF, P x comma y, x of y, x comma y. So, given this joint probability mass function uh, that is where the random variable x has values from 1 to 4 and the random variable y has values from 1 to 4 and uh, we have the, uh, the the values at these dots basically show the joint PMF. We can clearly see that the joint PMF is uniform for a given value of now our goal is to find the uh, conditional uh, conditional the conditional mass function that is conditional probability mass function of random variable x given the value y is equal to 4. So, this is by definition given by p x comma y that is the joint mass function of x comma y equal to 4 divided by the probability that y is equal to 4. So, since this is x axis and this is y axis, uh, we can clearly see that, that the probability of y equal to 4 is given by the total number of values, I mean some of the values in the uh, on the line that y is equal to 4. Uh, so, this is the only value. So, probability of y is equal to 4 with mean the, um, the marginal function, the marginal probability mass function of y equal to 4 is equal to 1 by 16. And we can clearly see that the joint mass function of um, the uh, for the x comma y equal to 4 is given by y equal to 4 that is along this line which is also given by 1 by 16. So, the ratio is obviously equal to 1. Therefore, therefore the conditional probability mass function p x given y uh, with x get x y equal to 4 is given by 1 for x equal to 4 and 0 otherwise. So, this is the conditional probability mass function. Now, given the joint probability mass function, we want to find the conditional probability mass function that is x given y for x for x given y equal to 2. So, in order to find this, we need to find the uh, ratio basically. So, that is the ratio of the joint probability mass function x comma y equal to 2 divided by y y equal to 2. That is the marginal probability mass function of y given uh, y at value 2. So, this one well, the denominator can be easily determined by just adding the values of probability mass function, the joint probability mass function at x for all values of x at y equal to 2. That is at y equal to 2, that is this place, we have to add all the three values, which is basically gives us 13 by 48. So, now we can find the uh, conditional probability mass function. Now, we can find the conditional probability mass function. So, uh, since we already know the denominator, we have to just uh, note the numerators, which are basically uh, 
the values of the joint mass function at, along the line y equal to 2. That is, uh, those values are 1 by 8, 1 by 12, 1 by 16 respectively. Uh, so, we have the conditional uh, probability mass function at f of x given y equal to 2 is equal to 1 by 8 by 13 by 48 which is given by 6 by 13 for x equal to 2. For x equal to 3 uh, that is along this line we have 1 by 12 and the denominator is 13 by 48 so this is equal to 4 by 13 for x equal to 3 and similarly we can find for x equal to 4 we have 3 by 13 for x equal to 4 and 0 elsewhere. So this is the conditional probability mass function from the given joint probability mass function at y equal to 2. I mean the, prob the conditional probability mass function of x given y equal to 2. Thanks for watching.